<laughs> Our special guest this morning, it's singer turned writer, Louise Wen, everyone! <laughs> As part of Britpop band Sleeper, Louise had three top ten albums and eight top 40 singles before switching to writing books rather than songs. A good move, given she's penned four hit novels. And now this... Wait a minute, here we go, there we go, look at that. Different for Girls, My True Life Adventures in Pop. Fiction or uh, all true? It's Louise. all true. Every last word of it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, of course, the names have been uh, changed to protect yeah, the guilty, absolutely. have they? Yeah, mm, OK. We're needed. Uh, now, you've had uh, some pretty um, naff jobs in your time, I have been a little bit. Yeah, I have. I, um, I work in a shoe shop. That was my first job. Um, and it was different in those days. And the reason it was worse is because it was the job of the shop assistant to put the shoes on. Do you remember you sort of every, it was the shop assistant would sort of kneel down, get the box out, slip the shoes on. Were you allowed to wear a gas mask? Well, you know, there was a lot of <laughs> there was a lot more man-made fibres in the eighties, you know. There was a lot of <laughs> Oh electric <laughs> shop. Stinky feet. <laughs> so yeah, I can remember sort of, you know, yeah, that was my first that was my first glamorous job. And you had a very kind of um, going way back, uh, quite a, uh, a dramatic birth because uh, you were born on quite an anniversary. I was born on the 30th of July, 1966, while the World Cup final was going on. Yeah, my poor mum. My mum. It was quite. Um, it was quite a difficult birth. Was your father at the birth? No, of course. Yeah, tell me that. I was smoking a cigar and watching the football. <laughs> yeah. you know? Of course he was. But um, they had to call the doctor, and it was quite a difficult birth. And the midwife couldn't do it on her own. And did the look on the doctor's face. My mum has never forgotten. I'm sure he still talks about it. I think he needed gas and air more than my mum, frankly. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. missing the World Cup final. And music, always been a part of your life? Always, always. From yeah. what age, do you remember? From, just from a very young age, and it was kind of, it was real, it was real pure escapism for me, and on top of the pops was just the highlight of the week, and I would sort of tape it off the television with my little cassette recorder. Loved it, yeah, always. <laughs> All right, no, stay. I mean, I, and because music's been your life for so long, and combining that with a birthday question, you once had Happy Birthday sung to you by someone quite... Well known I did, yeah. in Ma a very public place. Yeah, Michael Stipe sang "Happy Birthday" to me in front of seventy thousand people at Milton wow. Keynes Bowl. Yeah, it was very, it was very surreal. Yeah, we'd been supporting them that day, and then I was watching their gig from the side of the stage, completely unexpected. And he just sort of starts to wander over towards me, like, "What is he doing?" Yeah. Comes over, grabs me, pulls me on stage, and gets everyone to sing "Happy Birthday." It was very, wow. yeah. Every it was birthday since has been a huge anti <laughs> climax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wasn't as good as last year's. Yeah. <laughs> What about your own kids? Would you like them to go into music as well? No, absolutely not. I want them to become accountants. Yeah. Accountants? Yeah, I want them to sing really sensible. I mean, it's just, it's so sort of narcissistic and drug addled and crazy. I don't want them to do that. I want them to do something nice and sensible, yeah. They mm. won't, of course, but... But play the piano in their spare time. Yeah. Perhaps the recorder. No, actually not but, the recorder. No. No, That's just painful on the ears. But, but I've got a good tactic. If they do go into a band, I'm going to go to all their gigs and sort of dance about. Like, in a really <laughs> oh, like uncle, right. embarrassing sort of mum's <laughs> way. Yeah. yeah. So they'll go, oh, I can't do well, it anymore. That's my kids on stage. Yeah, oh, they're great. Yeah, they're great. Whoa, that's going to go wrong.